when the Giants take on the Philadelphia Eagles in tomorrow night's divisional playoff game. Perhaps no one will be as excited as 85 year old Marianne Villa. We love Marianne. <laughs> She's from Jersey. She's been a Giants fan for decades, but almost gave up her season tickets last year because of that losing season. She she until she had she had to be convinced. Had to be convinced. She had to be convinced not to give up hope. Tina Savasio has her story. There are millions of New York Giants fans, but this 85-year-old grandmother of nine from Netley, New Jersey, had something to say. It was torture sitting there because they were losing. Marianne Villa was fed up after the 2021 season, watching the Giants finish 4-13. and 13. After years of losing records and a coaching carousel, Marianne thought of selling her season tickets and was quoted in the Star-Ledger newspaper and NJ.com. But this was heartbreaking because Marianne had been a Giants fan since she was a young girl growing up in North Arlington, watching and attending games with her father, Raymond Fraze. I probably didn't go to every game in the Yale Bowl, but I did go every once in a while with my father. When the Giants moved to New Jersey nearly 50 years ago in 1976, Marianne and her late husband Jerry bought four season tickets, section 135, row 16. I've been to every game, even when it was five degrees. <laughs> so you haven't missed a game in New Jersey? No. Not one? Not one. And the Villa family was all business when going to Giants games. We never tailgate. We try to leave here early. My son and I, we stay to the end. We never leave. Even when they're losing, mm -hmm. we stay to the very end. That's a true fan. Right. Not a fair weather fan. <laughs> Marianne's love of the Giants was also shown away from the field, donating each year to former head coach Tom Coughlin's J Fund. We had a Kerry Villa Foundation. Oh, it was my daughter who passed away. So we started a golf tournament and we were going to donate our money to the J Fund. And then I got to meet Tom Coughlin. So when Giants co-owner and President John Mara saw Marianne Villa's comments, he reached out. And on April 21st, 2022, Marianne spent the day at the Giants Quest Diagnostics training facility. He called my son in New York and said, bring your mother here. And it was great. You know, we went through the facilities. They showed us everything. I got to meet Eli Manning because I said he was my favorite player. So they said, oh, we have a surprise for you. And in comes Eli. <laughs> so he sat there and we talked. And then we went to lunch with the coach and John Mara and it was great. They said, we don't want to lose you, so we're going to show you what we're going to do next year and how much better it's going to be. Eli Manning closed the deal, and by keeping her season tickets, Marianne not only enjoyed the Giants' return to the playoffs, but continues to pass her Giants fandom to the next generation, including her grandson, Jack, a freshman at Nutley High School. So, but you did have fun going to the games this year, right? Yeah. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah. And you like going every Sunday? Yes. So now what are you going to do? When there's no more games on Sunday, what are we going to do on Sunday? This is Amani Toomer and Phil Sims. We have many more footballs. <laughs> so now you're going to the home games this year, and they're winning. So what, what are you thinking as you're watching this go on? Well, it's just exciting. It was so different from the year before. You know, we couldn't believe it. And the whole stadium was different, too. The fans, people shout, shouting, you know, let's go Giants. It just seemed like a long time ago, you know, when the Giants were winning. So that's what it was, it's just more exciting, happier. And what do you think about the Giants playing in the divisional round of the playoffs this year against the Eagles? I think it's great. I'm very excited about that. So I hope they win on Sunday. I have a feeling that they will win. In Nutley, New Jersey, Tina Servacio, Good Day New York. Stay positive, Marianne. They're going to win. She's got a good feeling. I, I know. Like it. All right. Well, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, maybe you can't watch the Giants game. We've got you covered. Ryan Christopher is telling us about some other fun things to do around the city. And in the next hour.